Well, I'm hope, hoping this will be a quick video uh, and hopefully I'll get this solved. Problem I'm having with this refrigerator is, well, here's the old thermostat. I put a new one in it, but I noticed my temperature's not doing right. Uh, instead of having, you know, like 35, 40 degrees when I'm in the middle here, like at three, the, the position, um, I'm cranking it all the way down to one and I'm still like 25 degrees. So I'm trying to dial it in. So if I look, if you look closely, you'll see here it says, so it says colder. And that little arrow, that's that little arrow, where's my screwdriver at? There we go. There's a little arrow, counterclockwise, makes it colder. There's a, if you look back in there, there's a little bitty screw you can just barely see. It takes a small screwdriver like this. So, we're going to try to adjust this one and see if we can't make it work. So, counterclockwise is colder. I need to make it warmer. Let's see if I can get some more light on it here. Is that better? Oh, there you go. Now, if I can get the screwdriver in there. All right, screwdriver's in. So, let's go clockwise. What about a half a turn? Okay. Now, I'm going to run it for another day or so, do some experiments, and we'll see if that fixed it or not. If not, I'll come back and adjust it some more. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. Let's see what it's doing now. All right, so it's looking better. At least I'm up above freezing. I've only got it set on one. But I really... Okay, no, it still needs some more adjusting. That's too much. All right, so I pull this knob off. Crank it down some more. No, I have a turn. Let it sit for a few hours. I don't know, did I even, was I, I wasn't paying attention. Did I show you how I did that? Stuck it right in the hole again, give it a half a turn. I may add the camera. But anyway, you get the idea. Put this back on. We'll come back in a few more hours. And uh, see if it gets a little bit warmer. Try to get her dialed in. So I'm getting closer. Another hour's passed. Now I'm sitting right at 40 degrees. So, of course, I'm not sitting, you know, about one and a half. So I'm looking to get it dialed in when I'm at about three to be 35, 38 degrees. So as I turn this, hopefully it'll kick back on. There it goes. All right, just kicked on. And I'll see where that puts me. If it puts me down below 30. Then I'll go in here and, you know, turn it clockwise just a little bit more. So I'll let it run a little longer and we'll come back and see. Okay, folks. Well, we're getting closer. Actually, it's been about eight hours this time. Let's see now. So I've overshot a little bit. So I've set it in the middle and I'm just a tick over 40 degrees. So I know I'm getting close. So I'm going to go ahead and put my thermostat wires, putting all this up the way it's supposed to be. I need to get all this put in place. So let me do that, put all this back together, uh, and then I'll dial the screw back just a little bit more and see if I can't get it, about, get it around about the 35 degree mark, somewhere in that range. So let me put all this back together real quick. So just in case you're wondering how this goes back together, you see I've got the thermostat all wire all wound around there. You got the little tab in the back. See that tab right there? Just dead in place, just like so. Put this up there. Get that one screw in place. Put that one more piece of plastic right here. And we'll let it run a couple more hours, and we'll see where, it, see where it's at then. All right, you see everything's put back together, back together the way it's supposed to be. So I've done my freeze, freeze in here at the middle, middle ways. Fridges are middle ways, but we're a little warm. Let's pull this off and this time go counterclockwise. Let's go counterclockwise. About a half a turn, maybe. Find that screw. Okay. Go a half a turn. All right. I'll give it a few more hours and we'll see where it settles in at right there. We're getting closer, it just takes a little while. 
Okay, I needed to add a little more information to this video. I'm, you can see here I'm sitting here editing the final video and I realized that I misspoke about the, the thermometers and I wanted to point this out to you. Um, they, are, they have went up a little, little bit. They've changed the design, but they are, uh, I, they are great. And I told you I bought them before and I was wondering how long, so I bought them back all the way back to 2015. And so they're still working great, you know, for eight years. So it tells you from the money the good price, but I noticed I went back here. Let's see how much did I pay for them. Yeah, five dollars and seventy-two cents. That's what they was in 2015. Of course, like everything else in the world, everything's going up. Um, so what now? You can buy two for yeah, two pack. Yeah, two pack is now eight fifty-seven a piece. So I'll, I'll put that uh, the link in the video, and I'll also show you this um. Uh, thermostat how popular it, this is and it's only like 13 bucks and of course I bought it three times in the past working on various refrigerators but it fits a whole lot of different brands you can see all a truckload of model numbers that it fits so I just wanted to give that information to you and the price varies all over the place I know this is only like $13 but you can go other places I've noticed they're crazy expensive as much as like 80 something dollars I think I've seen um, yeah, here's like $84 for what looks like the same thermostat. And like I said, I bought, them, I bought three of these in the past, and they're all three still working. I haven't had any problems with them. Okay, I guess that's what I got, and I'll back to the show. See you, bye. Well, I finally got it dialed in where I want it. You see here I've got my setting here. Got it set on 5. I'm sitting right there about, what, about 35 degrees. Right where we need to be. Uh, I wanted to point out, everybody should have these things. That way... These little th thermometers, I, I'll put a link to them the, below the video. You can get them on Amazon for a few dollars a piece, but they're really dependable. I've been using these for years. Keep one in the fridge, one in the freezer, so that way you can monitor, because maybe everything, because you, you got your safe zone right there where you need to be. You know, because I like to see most, they just now kicked on. It's like I like seeing freezers around zero. Let's see what we got here. So, yep, yeah. so the freezer's doing good, fridge is doing good. So just as a reminder, because remember when I started out, when I first put, put this up, I was getting 25 degrees in the fridge. I knew that wasn't going to work, even when I set it all the way down to 1, uh, making it warm as I, as I could get it, it was still too cold. So by fine-tuning the adjustment on that, that, well, that little screw that's up in here, I took care of it. So in case you buy a new thermostat and things ain't working out for you, just go in here and adjust it. And I'll put a link to the thermostat too. It's pretty common, used on all different refrigerators. And I'll... So I think I'm gonna call this refrigerator fixed. Uh, what are we working on here? It is a, there's a Whirlpool. Let's see what the model number is. I'll put the model number in the description too. And yeah, there's a model number. So I'll put all that in the description notes and part numbers for the thermostat and part numbers for the uh, football thermometer too so you can have it in your refrigerator thank you all for watching have a blessed day see you later bye